Welcome back. We are a saint. This. This is the dressing room. In the Thaumaturge. Now, I have a bit of bad news. Even though I left off last episode rather excited that we had some threads to dress our guy up in. Unfortunately, I was expecting more, you know, something that actually looked different. That's my fault. Shame on me for expecting anything, really. Here you can see we really only have, like, some barely different stuff for him. The last two of everything here is the new stuff that we got. Pants aren't really great. Yeah, so that's basically what we have, and it's unfortunate. But we got it. Yay. Anyway. What else can we get up to? You know what? Let's go ahead and do the thing with Ligia. Which means we need to go pick up some donuts. And also stay on the lookout for new things that may have popped up in the movie. Oh. Wait. What a day. Really quick, we gotta go and slurp up this XP. Let's wait until... Yeah, it's night, so we need to go... So, let's... Message with advice for a suffering friend. Jan recommends Konstanty Jasinski, who lives at number seven and can set a man straight. Okay. Resulting in conclusion regarding brutal therapy session. Dr. Konstanty Jasinski resides at 47 Plebanska Street. He is a massage therapist who's not gentle with his patients and able to cure them of various pains. You can visit him daily between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Excuse me, sir. This lumbago is killing me, he says. Afternoon, good lord. Find your legs getting sore. Let's wait. Set. Surely not, right? Doesn't show me where it tries to take me. 
that's the point of interest. Taylor. There. Maybe I should have just checked the map sooner. Hopefully it's actually open. Down and smile at me. We're dear friends after all. I have no idea who I you are. I don't quite follow. I believe we haven't met yet. What he said. You really don't know who I am? You're so innocent. Take a look at me. Preferably my eyes. No. Let's play pretend. Yes, I've seen you in a poster for an operetta. Olena Dombzakszewska. Nice to meet you. Viktor Miłożąk Szulski. Well, well. How do you find Rumianceva Suarez? Olena, my beauty. Someone would like to meet you. Please, let's go. I already have company. Go away. This is in the theater, honey. No need to make a scene. Move it. Hmm. Do we start off the video punching guys in the head? Or do we hold off until it's ultimately forced on us that we must punch a guy in the head. Need I really even ask? The lady said she didn't want to. Is it a problem? Two. An unreliable wealthy bitch and a fool trying to be a hero. Bore. Get lost. Unless you want to solve it another way. I'll make it clear for you. See, this guy has immunity to status effects, the other one has some damage reduction. <sighs> you know, I woke up at 10. I went to sleep later than I should have after getting home from work. Woke up at 10 to start recording fell asleep until about one after I sat down in my chair. I'm kind of upset about that, you know? So let's see. Five to seven damage. Sure, why not? Eh, worth a try.
that's most of his health bar. 24, and then I guess we can punch him in the head? Ooh, that's uh, ugly. Okay, so let's see. Either we brutally and suddenly murder the guy in front, or... I don't really care about the damage the guy in the back is trying to inflict. As a matter of fact, we can technically just ignore that he has a turn at all. Let's go with this, and this. Good lord. You know, she could really just absolutely jam someone up, huh? Oh no, it, right, she restores their focus after she deals that damage, so. So no, no, she can't really jam someone up. I completely forgot about that other part. One of the odds, you know, the odds are literally right there. It's a 50% chance. We take that. And then interrupt his turn. We win. guy just never gets a turn. Thank you for standing up for me. Not everyone would dare to do that. I hope they didn't hurt you too much. Let's go with the proud answer, because why the frick not? I'm more hurt by the fact that you've used me, I think. As soon as I saw you, I knew you would be able to help me. Don't you feel flattered at all? Why does he pursue you like that? Does it happen often? Fame doesn't just come with splendor and acclaim. It also comes with unwanted attention. Some people think I belong to them because the entire town can watch me. Goodbye. Or perhaps see you later, dear Mr. Shulski. Hmm. There was a building above. I say building. There was some sort of place north of here with a star, so there's something interesting to get there. Good day, Mrs. Yagoda. Have you worked up an appetite for a cookie? Yes, I have. Even though I've been asleep for the past three hours. I'd like to collect Ligia Shulska's order. Of course. Give her my best. And don't hesitate to stop by for a little snack from time to time. Have a nice day. 
That is all, thank you. Goodbye. Don't you want to take anything sweet home with you? Well, as you wish. Blessed torture. One where the tormentor, instead of displacing joints and bones, puts them back into the right places. Hey, he's the exact opposite of me. For example, a few moments ago, we just inflicted some pain. Well, I guess we sort of have that in common, don't we? Instead. That's fine. Nice. Let's wait until afternoon. Ah, blessed torture. Invitation. Humble servant to all who hold music dear. Okay. Another person with lumbago. How's business? He My asks a random you. guy. And the advertising fuel sales even more. What? For you, sir, about one meter eighty, as far as I can tell. So good. It's robust, elegant, and durable. Thirty-five copiecas. And how's the other digging business? What do you mean? Valush and his friends want to tell you they can't dig up corpses for you anymore. They're the reason I'm here. I applaud your idea, but I'm not sure about the people you chose to implement it. You know what? We'll get you the oak box for free. And we'll send you on a trip to the orchard, too. What if I told you you just triggered my Uno reverse card? Too immune to status effects. Bukovac for you. And I right, went about it the slow way. Velez for you. They're all slow. We could do this in two turns and then use the strong attack from what's her name Morana pretty sure it's Morana then use the uh, strong attack from Morana to slow the other few guys whose attacks ooh, we stand to lose all of our god dang what is this guy going to do accurate shot They don't even, they're not even going to do that much damage, but they're just going to wipe my focus off the map. Okay. Well, I don't stand for that. Right, I have to avoid relying on the old suffering trick, and we'll just go with... We can use Oop here for this. Bukovac is a bad move. I need this guy in breakdown state as soon as possible. That'll be two this turn and then two the next turn. He should end up dead unless he's... Depending on how much health he has. 35. I should have gone for the other guy. 
but he gets his turn slightly faster, so I guess it's fine. I could go about trying to interrupt their turns, but it's a 50% chance and I'd only be able to stop two of them. If I used the Lelic, I'd be able to remove one focus off of the others, and that'd make it a lot faster to get them dead. Hmm. Let's see. be able to use her next turn. This restores, so we don't really want that. Hmm. What if we use the Bella, not Bella's, but... Sure, why not? I would kind of like to interrupt one of their turns, though. Again, if I, it has to be, the Salutor has to make a one round move. Two rounds locks us out of using Morena the way we want. Morana, right? Yeah. Now, I need to see if her strong attack, jeez, does not do a lot of damage, that's for sure. I need the slow, but I don't, I have to test out how this works. Will the slow push their turns back, or will it only apply after they've taken action? Either way, the guys, dead because we're going to finish him off here, but Bellas. So we have to dang. No, I think we're fine. He's dead this turn. Yeah, so it just pushes their turns all the way back. Which works for me. She also removes focus, which is beautiful. This guy takes too much focus. The other one deals more damage, but... I don't really care about that. Slows it. really only get one shot at doing that. I'm going for the 50-50 on the follow-up. 
watch this work. He doesn't get a turn. Hopefully, nope, not hopefully. We win this one. We did not win the 50-50. It's fine. Lost nothing in exchange. How? Not how, but what do we do now? We can basically... Hmm. This guy's dead. Oh, he's very dead. Just, yeah, I don't see how he's not dead. There's no way they're just unconscious. These are corpses now. And also, based on whose action I choose first, Oh, this is... He's still in breakdown state, too. Oh, that is actually disgusting. Even though she gave him back his focus, he was put into breakdown state before she acted. So, he's still in it. It did not recover it automatically. Oh, that is some of the most disgusting I have. Oh, that is... I am going to abuse that. Oh. Oh. I, ooh. Mm. That's delicious. Speaking of delicious... I think it's lunchtime. Well, it for certain is lunch time. Past lunch, actually, for me. But I'm not having what he's had. I don't want the germs. You see what I'm saying? It's like, the stuff you do to these people in fights makes no sense when it's just oh they're knocked out no you're shooting people punching them in the head your your creepy crawlies stab them in the back sprout bloody ice from their spines die please for your sake that wasn't too hard a letter of recommendation a handwritten letter recommending a piano tuner and an accompanying, accompanying note. Jan Rocky has, no, it's Jan Rocky, has ordered the best piano tuner for Friday. And naturally, you draw the conclusion regarding an unusual instrument. On September 15th at 8 p.m., a birthday dinner will be held for the pianist Jan Rocky. It's probably Rocky. At his apartment at 11 Frosnes. To celebrate this occasion, all upper-class music lovers will be given an opportunity to admire his most precious treasure, a unique piano that was once owned by Franz Liszt. This jubilee, jubilee will likely allow his willing guests to play the instrument and experience for themselves the beauty of sounds that it can produce. Mr. Shulsky, I presume. No. <laughs> what gave me away? Your resemblance to Yiga. And the book at your waist. That's an interesting way of sewing up the binding. Let me take your coat. The lecture has already started. Follow the corridor. The 
could change for the better. Surprising in this town. The professor has already made a judgment. That door is locked. It's a coat closet, so it's Boarding fine. Boarding schools for girls truly are a devilish invention. So what Inequality are we joined? Inequality between the sexes is a real problem that keeps society in economic stagnation. No wonder if half of population cannot take up a job or are not adequately remunerated for their work. We want to study, work, make our own choices. We want all of our lives. Ligia, I'd love to see you on the faculty. You must agree. There you are. Samuel, Cecilia, I'd like you to meet my brother. Mr. Schulski? The Victor Schulski? The Thaumaturge? No. Yes. Mother. I really should have gone it with the odd. second option. Oh, I... I need to talk to you about Thaumaturgy. Ligia has told me a lot about you. I've been interested in it ever since I was a child. Although, sadly, I was not blessed with power. Sadly is not a word I would use. Yeah, I Mr. agree. Mr. Sulski, welcome to the Flying University. Lecture, find out more. The university is an interesting venture. Where did you get the idea? Out of necessity. The occupiers control all the academies. They don't allow women to study and don't care about the level of education. And the future Poland will need an intellectual elite. Where does the university's name come from? For obvious reasons, we don't have a permanent residence. Our academy is constantly in flying between the apartments of people willing to host us. Some also mockingly say we are a childlike and girlish university, as the university was created with women in mind. But the mockery will soon end, because our graduates have already started scientific careers abroad. Are there any known names among the graduates? <laughs> Mrs. Skłodowska Kirill, for instance. Our Nobel Prize winner. Let's talk about something else. Of course. I'm afraid to ask what my sister has told you. Nothing but the truth, albeit not all. We are a civilized people, after all. I'm interested in stories about thaumaturgy. I find it fascinating. Do you teach thaumaturgy here? I've heard that it's becoming popular in Paris. In our academic circles, hardly anyone shares my interest. We've already talked about it. With such a limited amount of sources, there's not much we can do. That's why we should use the knowledge of someone who traveled half the world to learn the tricks of the trade. Uh, I'm afraid you overestimate me. Please, do tell us about your travels. I used to live with the whirling dervishes in Damascus for some time. The dams keep salators away. I've also met an Inuit sage who claimed he could talk to them. How? How is that possible? Cecilia, let's give Mr. Shulsky some space. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Congratulations, Professor. You did great. I did. And what did you like the most? What I liked most was seeing you as a lecturer. Damn it, you and your compliments. <laughs> I can't stand mad at you. 
You know that science is your domain, not mine. Still, it doesn't change the fact I'm very proud of you. I'll take a look around the room. Mr. Shulsky, we must talk. It's important. Please find me later. And then we linger. Oh, I think you'll find that the catering tables aren't the only place you'll find something sweet. Give me a break. Uh, only if you brought some donuts. I did. I know one should not stand between you and sugar. <laughs> You're speaking words of wisdom, brother. Then I will leave you as well. Mr. Shulsky, please meet our students. Put the donuts so down. For the principal school students, would you like some work? Excuse me, and you are just trying to put the donuts Victor down. You are Lydia's brother. Mm, it's sometimes great that you came to your sister's lecture. Not all of us have that kind of support. I think my presence here is of no importance. Liga has always been the smartest in the family. You are completely different from my brother. He thinks an educated woman is a disgrace to her family. If he knew I studied, he'd beat me until I was bleeding. We all take some risk. Well, maybe everyone except Polina. W what do you mean? She's Russian, and I'm sure she'll bring the police down on us. I don't know why Dickstein trusts her. Don't waste your breath. Better have an eclair. Sweet Tooth. Bring donuts to the lecture at the antiquarian bookshop. There's nothing else going on here, so we'll talk. You wanted to talk to me? I've got a whole bunch of questions, and I really hope you can answer them. Check your enthusiasm, please. You and your dress take all of our oxygen. Lucrezia, only feeble men are afraid to be inquisitive. And the taumaturge cannot be feeble. The power you possess meddles with the very fabric of reality and the most subtle aspect of human psyche. It is... Overrated at the best and made up at worst. We're going in. Maybe I could change your mind about my power if I used it. Yes! For example, I could convince you that you are a parrot. Oh my god! The bookseller went mad! Help! What? Is that your doing? Now you believe in thaumaturgy? <sighs> Mr. Shulsky, please don't mind her. Let's go, they might need you. This is tragic. I need to yell about it. Thieves! This is an outrage. Calm down. We can sort it out. Do not tell me what to do. It is definitely the time to be nervous. I'm just saying we can look together. It might be a misunderstanding. Uh-oh, detective Misunderstanding? Time. It's a theft. You! I bet you did it! Sorry, I'm not much for books. What happened? The first edition of A Nation Tale is gone. My beloved game exposed to sunshine. Master! Greasy fingers! Man loves oh, his books. What a horrible tragedy. You can't treat me like that. Nobody leaves this place. Either I get my book back or I'm calling the police. What do you mean? I can't stay here any longer. Antonio, do not threaten my students. They are not students. They are animals. Mr. Shulsky can find your book. Yes, I can do that. Really? And then can you bring eternal misery upon the thief? No. No, but 
I can find what you've lost, and I guess that's what you want. Let's call it the minimum plan. That's it's not like I'm being time. paid or anything. Mr. Shulsky, we don't be obliged. For pay, you get blood. Locked antiquarian bookshop. This is a case of theft. The most valuable of the antiquarian's volumes has disappeared. The owner has closed off the premises and is threatening to call the police unless his lost property is quickly found. Here we have an empty display case. The display case door is open and the lock is intact. The thief's feelings are reflected in the clear glass of the display case, like the carelessness of a clown and the excitement of a rope dancer before his first step into the void. Feeling sparkled with lightheartedness and a conscience as clean as freshly laundered linens. After all, everything is just an innocent prank. Was this her? Because it's really the only one that makes any sense. And frankly, given how many people are here and how small this place is, it just. It's weird that nobody saw who stole it. Broken cup. The china was dropped by careless hands, splashing tea across the floor. Pieces of china tremble like a heart gripped by fear. You can hear the quiet trepidation about the torn pages, the stained cover, and the cracked spine of this small miracle that Parvinus simply call a book. A miracle that has been stolen and may never be recovered. Ever. That trace belongs to the bookseller. Can I help you? Do you have any suspicions regarding the stolen volume? I don't believe any of the students could do it. it but they certainly did. And I hope you managed to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. Goodbye. I was instructed to become acquainted with your lot. Viktor Shulski, nice to meet you. I don't know if talking to me is the best choice. Polina Nikolaevna Gavrilo. All right, she's the one that uh, some of them are suspicious of simply because she's Russian. Seems you're not very popular among your colleagues. What did I tell you? That I cast spells to make their pants leak and their ties run? Why don't they like you? Because I'm Russian, and every Ruski is an enemy, right? Is our mother... is his mother Russian? I mean, I know she's still alive somewhere doing something or someone, I... but I don't know many details about her. My mother is Russian, so my perspective is different. I understand the political situation. I was born in Warsaw. I love this city. Who do you think is behind stealing that book? I can't believe that it might be one of us. After all, we all love books. That sounds like the perfect motive. <laughs> Indeed. If I were to steal, I would rob antiquarian bookshops. But it wasn't me. Why did you decide to go to the university? I don't want to waste my intellect on throwing parties and picking the perfect hat. And Why do not? Want? To study law at the Sorbonne. You think it's funny? No, it's just that my mother wanted me to study law in Paris. But I prefer to travel. My mother keeps trying to talk me into traveling. Apparently, that's the way to find a husband.
lockpick and a flower pot. The lockpick is in good condition. Whoever used it knew how to handle it. The lockpick is covered with blots of feverish thoughts, sloppy as a child's handwriting. There was no time. Someone could see. Point the finger. Catch him in the act. Catch the thief. The flower pot was close and seemed a reasonable solution. Almost. Stutenka. You don't understand. I want to leave. And I want my volume to be in my display case. Maybe you're the one who has it. I'm not a thief, and I don't have to explain myself. There's no need to argue. Please, let me help you. You can help by searching this young lady. I know subtler ways. Could you give me a personal item, please? No, she's not the one who stole the book. The trace doesn't match. How do you know? Argument at the door. One of the students is desperate to leave the antiquarian bookshop. Suspicious. The student didn't steal the volume. The trace on her powder box is velvety and tastes of iron, as if an unbreakable character was hidden beneath the delicate beauty. Completely incompatible with the one imprinted on the lockpick. There's no trace of the thief on this item. That lady did not steal the book. I see. I can't open the door. But I can help you with your parents. I know what it's like when your loved ones don't understand your passion for books. I see. Thank you for your help. Mr. Shulsky, there are guest codes in the wardrobe. I will let you in there if it helps you to catch that degenerate. That might be helpful. Not just then my... Follow me, please. There's literally nothing else to search. You need to open that door. Let me in. <laughs> you smell that? It's a mystery. Men's coat. It's dowdy and worn. The coat's pocket is full of worries pushed away out of thought's reach. They're gray and dull like the lockpick found in the flower pot. They whisper of the punishment that will befall the son for taking his father's locksmithing tools, about the consequences of a prank that will turn into trouble. Elegant women's coat. It's not the kind of coat you wear every day. An elegant coat boasts above all, above others, like a flower among the leaves. It radiates red pride, spreads the scent of splendor, and tempts with the taste of sweetness. Only a small thread at the collar resembles, nope. Only a small thread at the collar trembles with uncertainty. Will the effort be noticed by the one for whom it was made? Large women's coats. A lot a woman's coat. Woman's coat. Large. Probably belongs to the walking tank in the other room. The fibers of the coat spin and weave into an intricate embroidery of sorrow and bitterness. I couldn't I could not tell. The accusation of an affair weighs down the fabric and creates deep wrinkles on its surface. The explanation disappears like a soap bubble. She cannot confess. The university must remain a secret. Ah. So, she's being accused of a, having an affair because she goes to the university. And? The flying Have you found university. Anything? Maybe. Although I still need some information. Well, what are you waiting for? Fire away! <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That's the but third time that's happened. Why are you wasting your time on this? That fancy coat with golden embroidery looks... A little out of place. I don't know who it belongs to, 
But that person apparently mistook a lecture for an audience with a tsar. Will you try to find the thief? Or are we going to keep chatting about fashion? Well, I'm personally not interested in other people's teeth, so... I found a men's skeleton in the wardrobe. One with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. Do you remember who it belongs to? With a worn-out collar and elbow patches? That's Valdemar's coat. You have good memory. Which you are using in a ridiculous way. Why don't you look for the degenerate? Thank you. That was very helpful. I will wait for the results then. Observation, Valdemar. I don't remember what it, I don't remember the uh, the line from Harry Potter. It's close, you know. It's close. It's something about uh, he whose name I don't remember the rest. The antiquarian is convinced that the worn coat belongs to Valdemar. It's time to explode. It's time to expose the thief. Who is the thief? It was Valdemar who stole the volume. He had no trouble opening the display case, being the son of a locksmith, he knows his way around locks. However, it seems that his intentions weren't entirely bad. He thought the theft would be an innocent prank, but it ended up causing quite a commotion. Valdemar! A grey coat with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Why do you ask? I think it belongs to the thief. What? No, I don't wear a coat. It's September. <laughs> I like the cold. And that is not a crime. Leave me alone. lost has been found. Valdemar hid the volume under the bed in the antiquarian's bedroom. The hiding spot leaves much to be desired. And yet it was not found. The volume is covered by a thin layer of gloomy thoughts that bind its covers like grey hoarfrost. It is the thief's trace, identical to the one on the coat and the lockpicks. There is no doubt Val Valdemar is the thief. you will find my little plot amusing. The city must recognize the power of thaumaturgy. Enjoy your show. You have earned it. Cecilia. I should return the volume. The bookseller will finally calm down. And then I will have a talk with the author of this letter. It looks like I was partly right. Note hidden in the volume. A carefully calligraphed note, addressed to me from Cecilia. A thought wanders across the note, playful as a young woman on a summer's eve. She considers all the scenarios, makes plans, and selects tools, all to make the right impression on him. And so the conclusion we draw regards the last, the lost volume. I found the volume. A letter fell out of written by Cecilia. The intrigue was planned, and I don't like to be a tool of other people's games. I should talk to her. Can I help you? Oh, come on. Can I help? Yeah. 
Here is your volume. You came back to me safe and sound. Praise the Lord. I hope it was all just a mistake. It was not. No, it was planned. That was obvious. How did you find the book? The plot might not be too original, but it was certainly planned. You might be missing the big picture. It is Cecilia who is responsible for stealing the book. <laughs> it's impossible. She was with us all the time. She persuaded Valdemar to use his father's lockpicks and take the book while she remained in your sight. It, it's impossible. Valdemar? It's true, Mr. President. Cecilia said it would be a joke. Do you understand what kind of situation this puts me in? How this affects our reputation? I'm sorry, but it was necessary. I had it my It was reasons. not. There were definitely other ways to go about doing what she did. How do you intend to punish them? I should expel you from the university, but... You can't do that. It was necessary. Nobody treats taumaturgy like a real science. I had to show its potential. Show what you are capable of. That's enough. That is no excuse. I will talk to you in a minute. Leave us alone. You know I was right. No. I'm sorry you were used like that. Thank you. Honestly, I don't like being led by the nose. I understand. Cecilia's methods are disgraceful, but she does have a point. A lecture by a taumaturge would enrich our academy. Please consider it an offer. I will think about it. Oh, right, his sister. Nope, she's gone. Vanished like a fart in the night. All right. Did he just... I thought he T-posed for a second. Let's see. It's two separate things. I do want to get rid of the goddamn golem. Let's go ahead and deal with this, though. Let's see where it is we... Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? No, we'll do it now. Excuse me. Look at this, friend. Where do you think you're going, know it all? Oh, we're running a business here. It's you. What do you know? Please... Please help it's me. You. I only ask these kind gentlemen for directions. To Albuquerque, is that right? Are you done? Look at them goddamn bigwigs. You're not gonna make fools out of us, you clown. There is no such thing as Albuquerque. Albuquerque, 
Zabkirk. You can forget the whole thing if you drop your wallet. You can chip in too since you popped up. Sorry, I don't carry cash. I don't think so. Come on, I'll sort you out. This one's lost it. He's asking for it. Yeah, I am Are you definitely sure? not saying. One against three? Trust me, it's it's not one against three. It's two minimum. Uh, I think six against three at most. Marana, Lelic, Belez, Goopir, and yeah, uh, yep, six. I'll be fine. Shut the fuck up, you're putting him to sleep. Get him, boys. Probably all that forehead you have is weighing down on your eyes. Getting points, or thaumaturgy points, or whatever they're called, I'd forget is pretty expensive. Why is he standing on a suitcase? That is silly. The thermoturgy points are getting expensive to get, so we have to disable this guy's trait, and then we can kill him good. It looks like that's Veles's color? They are going to jam me up good. I could tell that the moment I saw their turns would not take place anytime soon. But it also means we get all the opportunity in the world to drain this guy dry. Let's see. First to make sure, Lelek, not Velez. No, it's five, not six. Goodness. These two share the colors, so... I could try to set one of the other guys back. And then that'll buy me extra focus for when one guy eventually gets to attack for free. Hmm. I think it's better if we go this other route. What? There we go. We'll do this instead. Congratulations, you're now insane. I'm going to set them all back. This guy here has less, so we can go after him and hopefully get the four. Who do I target? Right. We only got the two, not the four. What can you do? Oh, I think we can just do it again. Uh... 
this. One more time. Old forehead here is not having the best time. This guy's about to join him, too. His turn has been put off. trying to I'm trying to do that combo with uh, Marana but it is also mean it also means I'm going to get hit this turn how bad will it be not bad at all instead of bullying them all back to the end of their turn or back to the end of the round line Nope, that's not it either. Instead of bullying them all back to round, well, the latest possible round, I'm going to do this. Oh, that's going to be a kill. Because he had so much focus to start with. It's rough, buddy. Oh, since we're here, we may as well have her finish him off. I'm sure he'll enjoy being finished by a ghoul. We should go with the Lelic instead, huh? That way we get the extra, yeah, the extra focus off of this guy. Or we could go with the Bukovac, which will give me a free suffering. tastes great this time of year. Hopefully we win that. If not, it's fine. It's really fine. Either way, the guy does not... Well, hold on. I do want to be able to blow this guy up. Then again, once she gets her turn, he's just dead. Considering he has six focus she deals 8 damage per missing focus. Hmm. He's guaranteed to die. So let's just go ahead and get this over with. Frankly, I think we could have just killed him right there, right? 8 times 4? Yeah. Yeah, that would have killed him. Ah, well. It's not like he needs a turn, so we'll just take that from him. Oh, he lost it twice. That has to be upsetting. Uh, you know what? We'll allow him to feel the chilling touch of a woman before he enters the eternal sleep that awaits him. How was it? Was it good for you? Ooh, that's 
probably a no. This was the best combat I've seen so far. They didn't fight like that in the Albuquerque Saloon. Anytime. Thank you again for your help. Walter Pinkman. Viktor Shulsky. I don't want to worry you, but Warsaw is not on the way to Albuquerque. It depends on how you look at it. If it wasn't for you, my journey would have ended here. Thank you again, Mr. Shulsky. All right. That just happened in full view of these guys, by the way. Not the violence, but the attempted robbery. At least I think they were here. I really don't remember a moment. <laughs> I don't remember what happened before the, the violence began. It is only then that I came alive. And so that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. The guy says he needs to get up early and stop eating out. I... I don't agree with his sentiment. He needs to keep eating out. I mean, it's part and parcel of pleasure. The next episode will be on... I don't even... This goes up Friday. That's the first time when I'm recording. This goes up Friday. Next episode will be on Tuesday then. So... Make sure you guys stay eating out, and, um, well, with all that said, we will see you next time.